This is my camping platform for pretty much any Gen 3 Prius. Um, this involves removing the rear seat for extra storage and with the two front seats all the way forward it results in a very flat area that is 80 inches so uh, extra long queen I'm sorry extra long twin will fit in there uh, and you can go wider I actually have a trifold mattress that takes advantage of these uh, wider areas and pretty much fills the whole area uh, I don't have it completely screwed in right now I, I took it out of the car to get ready to sell the car which uh, is the only reason I'm getting rid of the camping platform anyway it's a prototype so you know they're just a one-off design and um, so you know I wasn't making it to be pretty just functional but it is extremely functional and it's very easy to work with so I've done a lot of camping with this um, the seats on the on this generation Prius will fold down flat enough that you really don't have to do this in order to get a flat surface but you lose a lot of storage so uh, I wanted to have this extra storage for camping uh, and in the way I've set it up here, you've got two access holes for getting into your stored things there, or you can remove that. Both sides are moved the same way, so you've got over four feet of uh, storage lengthwise here. And uh, I just put this sound deadening and, and a slight protective padding for any wires and stuff that are part of the, the car's design. These just have Velcro on the back, which sticks to this indoor-outdoor carpet. So, super easy to use. And very, very stable. It's not super heavy because I use 3 8 plywood. But uh, it's all been reinforced, such as these lips here. Um, wherever needed, I reinforced it with 1x2. So... A 200 pound person could easily use this or a couple people no problem so with a setup like this you cannot drive uh, the seat is all the way forward so this is meant to disassemble rather quickly um, so I've got these pins okay by removing those four pins that allows you to take these two 20 inch extensions off and you can see the framework. So you've got a couple more pins. Now I should mention that this design means you have to modify the armrest. Um, there's a little bit of cutting involved. So if you're not into that, um, then this, this won't work for you. That's because the level of this to be flat with the, with the, uh, whole surface has to be lower than the uh, uh, the armrest there okay so this is just, that supports that and then just need to remove these two supports on either side these are also pinned in and then this long support bar which carries most of the weight comes down and then uh, these supports are designed to fit over the screw heads there. So nothing looks stable on its own, but when it's all put together, it doesn't move and it can take as much weight as this can bear. Same here. This lip supports it all along that side. And then we have the, the shorter support. So uh, between that and this can hold a lot of weight, but it's really being also held by the corner supports the support so it doesn't really carry that much weight so anyway that's what it takes to get ready to drive um, these are pretty easy to store because they're flat and let's see let me uh, grab the armrest just to show you the modifications on this so 
Originally there was a little plastic bar going across here, which really was not necessary. Uh, I also had to cut these spaces out a little bit here so that you could easily remove it. So now to replace it, it's very easy. It does shake a little bit like that, but I have a long pin. There's a hole here. And if you can slide that through, you, you wouldn't know that it had been modified at all. But for just a quick drive or for general use, I just let it be a little bit shaky, but it still functions as it normally would. Latch is closed. Uh, but then when it's time to camp, just pull up about a 30 degree angle, it pops right out. Um, so there is some modification involved in that. It's been great. I love the thing. The only reason that I'm getting rid of this is because I am upgrading to a um, hybrid Sienna. So I've been uh, driving Gen 3 Prius since 2011 and it's just time for an upgrade. This is another configuration that um, I have with the system where the driver's seat can come back uh, all the way. And this is a, a wider piece than the, this is the uh, part of the full width system extends from there. So your total width is uh, maybe three and a half inches wider this way. That gives you a total across here of 28 inches. So you can use this for transporting cargo, uh, or you could also uh, sleep there. Um, the way I've done it, the few times I've set this up is uh, to put your head there, but that leaves room for your body to kind of angle or for your, your legs to have a, you know, a lot more width. You can pretty much um, custom fit a mattress or you know, some kind of padding so that it gets wider as you come back. Um, so, still 80 inches up to there in this, in this setup. Uh, the difference here is you get a separate front support. So again, tabs pull out. And of course, that there that would be there to give extra stability but again super stable when you're on it but um, same idea these just come apart this is your 60% uh, width bar as opposed to the full width bar so uh, quite a bit of functionality here with all the extra storage um, there's no way anybody's going to um, cause any kind of failure or sagging in this I've used it a lot I, I carried uh, pretty heavy loads in here so um, you know and included in the sales price which I'm going to ask for this um, I'll include showing you basically the supports. It's, it's really pretty simple. Um, you know, if you want a cheaper price, then, you know, you could just have the parts and figure it out with some minimal discussion. These are loose right now because uh, I just set it here out of storage. So those, those two get screwed down, uh, bolted down. And then you've got a, well, it's covered up now, but piece of wood there that screws into the old support. It's upside down now because I just threw this on here temporarily. The deck would screw down into that. This would be tightened uh, on that seat belt bolt. Um, and then there's another one in the center, which uh, again, I, I don't have uh, fastened securely right now, but then that would go down and the top screws out of there. So you've got screwed to a few points there. I mean. As I said, you crawl around in there and it feels rock solid. So, pretty easy. The, the hardest part to this, installing this is simple. The hardest part would be, it's not really hard, but um, takes a little time to modify the armrest and, uh, and to remove the seat. That can be difficult. So, 
So, you know, if I deliver this or you pick it up or whatever, um, I could help with that because it's pretty easy for me. So, um, so that's it. Um, this kit includes both of these options, the sound deadening and the, the protective material there. So um, Prius camping is great and uh, the only reason that I'm not going to be doing that is because I'm going to be in a Sienna now. Here's a, uh, this is one of the trifold mattresses that is um, included with this. It's, this has been cut to fit the contours of the car here so that uh, I could maintain as much width as possible. And this also comes with this shelf. So, shelf can be used for storage under there. You can still, if you bend up the mattress a little bit, access that way. Of course, you've always got this end access to storage. You still have quite a bit of space under there. This, the way I have it set up now, does require the front seat all the way forward. Um, you could modify this mattress so that the, you wouldn't need this piece and you would just do the 60% width and put the seat back. You would just lose uh, this much width here. Um, and so, you know, these unzip and you can take the foam out. So this could just be cut at uh, whatever angle, depending on how far you want to be able to put the seat back. It's a super comfortable mattress. Got it about a month ago and just used it um, very briefly. So, um, let me just show you too. This is, got these two smaller parts here. So if you are camping with that, you can just fold it up real quick like that. And then you have complete access to the storage that's between the seats and the, and the main platform. So that's pretty handy. And this actually can be used, this design of these, if you don't know, it's designed that if you fold this under, you get kind of a little love seat type of a deal. Okay. I'll put the I'll put the camera down and show you the the other uh, foam mattress that can be used when the shelf is not being used. Okay, this is the other uh, folding mattress that comes with it. Let's see, I've had it in storage and bagged up, so it's a little wrinkly right now. Uh, this is really a large bed considering you're sleeping in the back of a Prius. Um, and if you don't know the things involved in sleeping in a Prius, you can run AC all night for usually half a gallon of gas. Um, it's an electric AC that runs off of the uh, drive battery. So uh, you leave the car in ready mode, but the gas engine only comes on when it needs to recharge the, the drive battery, the hybrid battery. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I've spent many nights um, in this car before and after. I built this platform uh, with the AC set on 70 degrees and sleeping on a super comfortable mattress. This is a three inch thick mattress, still quite comfortable. Uh, I think I had a one inch memory foam on top of this most of the time I used it and just get a, this I believe is a full, it's 52 inches across at the widest. And I don't remember this narrow dimension here, let me see. In between the, the wheel wells. So you've got about 42 inches between the wheel wells at the narrowest. And that spreads out a little bit more in the corners here. So from 52 inches uh, down to 42 at the narrowest. Um, I mean, one person, there's tons of room, and two people can very, very easily sleep in this setup and this one also has that folding feature where you can uh, access the front there very easily so I think that's oh you know what I didn't mention the seat belts now most of 
what I did with the seat belts once I took the seats out. Um, and I was doing uh, long, long term trips. The seat belt can be, um, it's loose on this end, it's been unbolted. And this uh, excess belt can be kind of wrapped up and taped and stowed behind this piece of plastic trim. Really pretty simple to get back there and to just stow that. Uh, I taped it up and taped it back just so it wouldn't rattle, but it's a pretty easy operation. You know, one that I can show you if you end up buying this. So there you go. You got a 60 wide, 100% wide, two different folding mattresses, super comfortable in a fantastic car.